Hey everybody, welcome back to the Metal Metal 52 workshop. My name is Bill, this is my shop. We're working on the LBSC Titch. This week's episode, we'll talk about the coupling rods. I finished them, installed the bearings, got them polished up a little bit, and just finished massaging them a little bit to um, so they, they move fairly freely. A couple of little, still a couple of little tight spots that we'll have to work on, but I'm pretty confident that that will run in over time it's it's not unusual to have a little bit of a tight spot so this will be a really short episode this week if you'll stay with me for the next probably less than 10 minutes i'll show you a couple of the finishing touches on the coupling rods and next week we'll get into some of the brake system work so thanks again everybody i appreciate you have a great week okay following up on the coupling rods thank you for the nice compliments everybody and I was, I was on vacation all week. I just got back last night and I had a couple of an hour out here in the shop. So I filed the milling marks off of the side rods here and cleaned them up a good bit. I used some sandpaper, some 220 grit, then 400 grit, and of course the buffing wheels and the Dremel. Got them looking pretty nice. And then I used some my uh, polish, mag polish, then cleaned them again with acetone and loctited the bearings in there so right now I need to clean them up a little bit there's a little bit of acetone or excuse me a little bit of a the green Loctite is <clears throat> still on here a little, a little sticky in places so I'll clean those up a little bit then I need to drill the holes through so that the oil will pass through inside where it's where it belongs and I'll bring you back for that I'm going to use the pillar tool to drill the number 50 hole, oil hole all the way through the bearing. So here's the setup. Let me get the camera set up in a mount so you can watch me drill. We've got the pillar tool on. <laughs> Easy to go through that bronze. So that's the first hole. Let me just reposition this. I really do. I am glad I built the pillar tool. It's going to be a handy thing to have for a project this size. That was the main reason I wanted to build it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was handy for number stamping with building the corn and also for something like this. Just testing to make sure I got free travel all the way down. Yeah. Alright, that's all there is to it for drilling the oil holes, except for now I'm going to have to uh, clean up and deburr the, uh, the, the bronze bushings. I have to do the other one. I'll clean up, deburr the bronze bushings, and then try it out on the locomotive. I thought, thought I'd show this too. I'm, I am running a um, reamer through each of the holes that have the bushings because when you rate when you drill that center hole, I don't know if it's going to be visible in here or not, but when you drill that hole into the bushing, the oil hole, it's going to raise a burr back there. So it's, I'm just using the reamer by hand to ream out the hole. And I may have to pay more attention to these bushings when I get done. I notice there's a little crown to them. I tried to deburr them, but uh, it's, uh, I may have to flatten them out a little bit. I can do that with a file if needed when we put the actual uh, drive rods on there. But it's easy. I'm not going to mess with it now because it's always easier to remove metal than it is to add back. So I don't want to redo those in the future, but just running the the reamers by hand just to deburr the inside before I put it on the locomotive. And after reaming then taking a pipe cleaner just sticking it down there to make sure that the oil passage is all the way clear and that the hole is clear. Okay here we are with the rods installed. Good news is they they fit. The bad news is there is a little binding. You'll see it right about, where is it? Right there. Where it's a little snug. 
and I'm having to give it a little extra pressure to move forward. It's not terrible, and it's been so long since I built an Allen Mogul, I can't remember if I had this problem or not. But I will tell you this, that each successive pass that I, that I move these things around, it gets a little less snug. So I'm pretty sure that the bronze will wear in a little bit. Also, I noticed that I wish I would have made the bronze inserts for the rear links. I wish I would have had them a little bit over long because if, if this is crammed down, the, the back of the rod actually catches on the raised portion of the wheel here, the driver, and that's not good. And that's why I put some washers in. I don't know if you can see those in there or not, but I found some little quarter-inch washers. I'll end up probably remaking um, or make a little bushing or something um, separately that's a, a little less, uh, a little bit better of a fit for that. But I haven't put any oil on this at all so far, so what I'm going to do now is turn the camera off, add a little bit of oil, and then I'll show you the difference all right folks a little bit of oil a little bit of massaging on the bearings there a little bit i did have a couple of binding spots as you could see in the last video now it's smooth there's one little spot it's a little snug right there but i'm confident that that'll wear in pretty well i don't want to go too wild on um on making things loose so i'm going to leave it just like that for now i think we'll be fine so let me uh, flip this over i'll try rolling it and see how it looks like when we roll it along all right, here we go. I flipped it over, and you can see it rolls pretty easily now. What you're, that noise you heard was the um, pump pump rod. Pull that. Yeah, you can see there's a, there's still a little bit of a, a snug spot. It's not bad at all. I think that just that'll be a, ma a matter of wearing in more than anything else. I think we'll be in very good shape here. So I'm a, this will be the last segment for this week's episode. As I mentioned last time, I'll start working on the brakes. Um, working on the, uh, just feel like it'd be easier to get all the undercarriage stuff done before working on the cylinders. So thanks everybody, appreciate uh, all your interest, your comments. Please give me a thumbs up, ask questions if you would like. I'll do my best to answer them and have a great week.